has been tormenting you. It's like okay, okay, and I am back once again, guys, with another lit video. So today I'll be answering my Q and A of places where you think you have sex. I've done this before. If you guys haven't seen this video, please go back into my playlist, and you all will see. You will scroll down, and you can see the Q and A. All right, I'll try my best to answer honestly as best as I can. To tell you how I actually do feel about all of these things. So, what do you think about sex in a public bathroom? For one person can be in the heat of the moment and cannot wait to reach home or whatever. Some I know you all have experienced this feeling before, maybe not all, but some of just wanting having the urge to have sex with your partner that same instance so you go ahead and you do what you want to do but for me not every public bathroom is clean and i am really a private person i love to do whatever i want to do in the own privacy of my bedroom so for now the idea of doing these things because the older you get your mindset changes maybe the older i get i can want to um spice up my sex life by trying out different things but at the moment Let's stick to the bedroom. So, public bathroom for me is a no. And on top of that, public bathrooms contains a lot of bacteria, and we as females are very delicate. So, we have to be careful what we do, where we have sex, and uh, whatever. So, you no. Know. What do you think about sex at a beach? Hmm. You know, beach is where you go to enjoy yourself and relax yourself, ease your mind, clear your mind of anything that has been tormenting you. <laughs> but on a scale of one to ten, I will give it a five. Why? Because I'm in between with the yes and the no. You can be at a private beach. Which is, I guess, private beach. I do what I want at my private beach. But in a public beach, it's a no. Also, you have some couples that they go a far, far distance to do what they want to do with their partner. So in that case, my yes. You all get my point. But I was sex at your parents' house. If I buy a house and I say I want my parents to live and move in with me, I'll put my parents at this end and I'll be at this end where we're far apart, anything that is happening, they're not affected by it. Then, yes, I'd have sex because not only is it my house, but it's their house as well, and they're living with me. In their own, own home, where if I'm there for a good couple months or whatever, and my partner is there, I might try to sneak out and do what I want, or I can do it there and try to be very discreet. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 5 also, between the yes and no. Sex in a car. Mm, in a garage. Yes, in the public, depending on where in the public I am. If I'm at a private resort, meaning I am um, some place which is quiet, nobody is there, maybe yes. My garage is a complete yes because it's my garage i do what i choose in my partner sometimes you don't want to go into you can't wait to go inside the house so you know what you want to do right there in that garage oh i get the truth sex in the kitchen 
The idea of mixing sex with food is something that I do not like. Because not only do I cook in the kitchen, he cooks in the kitchen. You can have family members come by and you cook and give it to them. How do you feel when you know that you just did something on that counter? You might sanitize, bleach it down or whatever it down. But how do you feel? And then you're coming back to heat that same food that you have cooked on that you have made using that counter. So it's a no with the kitchen. Kitchen. Hmm. Some persons actually do do that. I for one, I don't think so. Sex on a bus. I've heard from persons who have experienced this before that it's very, very nice. Each bump in the road leaves you feeling excited. But on a bus. I'm not driving, he's not driving, there's somebody driving. But at that note, there are people in that bus. What's gonna happen? If it's a night thing and everybody gonna sleep, I mean, I'm gonna, maybe, 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 maybe. It's a scale from 1 to 10 and that is definitely a 4. But, otherwise I'm not, no. Sex in the bushes. It depends on what you consider bushes. I go home with my babe. We have a picnic. After that picnic, we feel like we want to get jiggy and jolly. We do what we want. It con depends on what you consider a bush. We as Jamaicans say so bush, so we say bush, we mean woolly pop bush, bush, bush. You can't even walk through that. Which is, it would be a definite no for me. I'm on my lawn with my babe in my private property having my picnic I'll have sex with him there but the bush 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 we can't leave and walk on see with insect there bugs which I hate or are you in the else in there no definitely I know sex at your business please do not mix business with pleasure Business and pleasure doesn't work hand in hand. You have to separate them. So, based on my reaction right there, I know you all realize that is a definite no. If I am no bone of that enterprise, I can have my office at the top floor, which is different because, babe, stop by. We had this one or whatever, whatever. Take me that to my go quickie. Hmm? But, you're not the owner of that enterprise. You're working for somebody. You working for somebody means you can do what you choose. So it would be a no. Sex in a restaurant, again with the food. Doesn't settle well with me. But what if I am the owner of that restaurant? I am at the top floor. I'm the one that feel like all this stuff. Do what me feel like, as long as me the way over the part where I'm not really over where the food is, I'm cool. Yeah, private boots, but to mix the food with whatever, whatever, whatever. That's it all in me. No. Sex in the library. I'm not sure about this one. On a scale from one to five, I will put it at a tree. Because libraries can sometimes be very empty, but libraries are a place where you're supposed to be quiet. And you can itch up a lank part around a can or on a back and do whatever. But anyways, I think it's a no. I think it's a no. Sex in school. Sex in school is a no because you go to school to educate yourself. Not to go to find the D and the V. And somehow, you know, people are too damn giddy at it. But not, uh, kids are not supposed to even be on this right now. But anyways, it's a statement. You go to school, you go to learn. If you're in college, that is different. College is different. 
seniors they have their dorm rooms they do what they choose in their dorm rooms or whichever way but i'll say no to the sex in school sex on the floor if i have my carpet no problem the room is clean 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 no problem but it also depends on the position that i am in on that floor so i would say it's to the floor depending on how it looks how do you think you would feel if you got caught downright terrified and scared never want to do it again what is your advice to persons who did this well my advice is try to do your thing privately try to keep your sex life private as best as you can and learn from your mistakes don't kill yourself over it because it's a pass all right guys so now we've reached the end of today's video and i am almost at a hundred subscribers and i have a present for you guys when i'm at 150 so do the do like share comment and subscribe if you haven't climb me to 150 and let me show you all what i have in store for you guys share this video with your friends families everybody click the notification bell to get notified each time that i post but now guys enjoy the rest of your day or night and be safe